Shabbat Shalom and good morning, Temple Israel of Greater Miami. I hope that this message finds you all in good health and in a continued quest to be vaccinated so that we can all come back together so soon. It has been a year since we have been in the same physical space and I am for sure feeling it as I'm sure many of you are as well. I was thinking about this idea of people having issues, right? It's become this kind of normal thing that someone will say, oh, just disregard them, they have issues, or don't listen to exactly what I'm saying. I just have a lot of issues. And I was thinking about what does this even mean? Because, you know, we all have issues because we have all lived a life. And out of that life, we have created stories for ourselves. And so no matter how much work we've done on ourselves, no matter how much therapy or how much thinking or how much positive self-talk, we all snap back into those stories, into those narratives, that baggage, that uh, issues sometimes. And throughout this pandemic, I think that it's been so true that most of us are not functioning at our best. And that in this time of being exhausted, physically and exhausted emotionally, being angry that we can't be with those who we love or doing what we wanna be doing, being trapped or feeling trapped and having coping skills that once worked for us that right now are not at our, you know, at possibilities for us to call upon, our issues are coming out full force for everyone to experience and for us to see of ourselves when we look in the mirror. So I wanted to uh, offer you a bit of advice and offer myself a bit of advice that I hope somebody has told you throughout this pandemic, but if not, I'm going to. It's time for us to be a little bit easier on ourselves to be a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more empathetic, to have a little more Rachmanus, right? In Hebrew, Rachmanut, compassion on who we are and how we are existing right now. Because truly, I don't think that this is our finest hour as individuals or as humanity, but I do hope that whatever we're learning from this quarantine, how we're learning to prioritize, reprioritize, reassess what's important to us, that out of this comes a better conversation that we have right here in our heads about who and how we are in this world. So I uh, was thinking about how growth, true growth in life is really a dance and that it's not a light switch, right? True growth is a dance and not a light switch. And in saying that, I wanna add, you know, what does that, what does that even mean? I wanna add that change, real change, change in ourselves, change in our community, in our synagogue, in this world, systemic change, it does not come from staying in a place where we're comfortable. That just breeds more comfort. But real change, that comes from being bold and brave and facing the things that make us uncomfortable with enough within us to say, you know what? I'm gonna move forward. So yes, it is not turning on a light switch. Being brave is not turning on a light switch. Losing our issues is not turning on a light switch. But true change, it is that. It is deciding how we wanna move forward and putting one foot in front of another and going after that momentary discomfort that leads to an opening of possibility and of life. So as we move into the Shabbat, I pray that we get out of those comfortable places of complacency and that just as our name says, we wrestle, Jews, this group that wrestles with God, we're encouraged to wrestle with text, wrestle with who we are and what we want from our lives. Let us wrestle and figure out how we are going to continue dancing into a new time of understanding for both ourselves and this world. Shabbat Shalom.